There are a lot of things to understand when you are solo ranking up. You need to be able to push, fight, retreat, engage and all other things all by yourself. Yes, the team helps but going in with the mentality of you are on your own make things easier. Out of all the things you need to know while playing solo, the most important part is picking the right hero. Yes, you can say that you can climb with any hero you feel like. That is a lot true and false in many cases too. There are very good heroes which do require team supports at many levels, which in solo queues is not guaranteed. So you need to pick right. Here are my top 10 heroes you can pick for their all round performance who aren't generally banned to help you rank up easily. Hi guys, Kazuki here and before starting this video, I want to congratulate Nazan on winning the epic skin. You can contact us at kazukiofficialinfo at the red gmail.com. If you guys want to be lucky as him, do like, subscribe and comment on anything about this video. Now without a further ado, let's roll the intro. Saber is a very strong assassin. He works both as a jungler even as a solo laner. He is a versatile pick that has a very strong offensive capabilities. However, he lacks a lot in terms of defense. When playing him, your goal should be to exploit the weakness of enemy solo heroes rather than diving into team fights. Play tricky, catch enemy solo heroes, split push and harass to force enemies to take wrong decisions. If you are attentive enough, you can easily capitalize on the enemy's bad moves and punish them really hard with Saber. Though she gets counter a lot, she is still a very reliable pick for solo pushing. She has a very high offense and can actually evade ganks thanks to her bonus movement to speed from skill 2 and ultimate. She can chip down enemies from afar, forcing them to retreat even beyond their towers and with her passive, she can push tower very easily. She also has tons of item combination that works on her. Build the one trio for chip damage, truncheon for burst or just a wild wind talker in the fray for bonus movement and attack speed to increase your tower pushing capabilities. She got it all covered. Another great hero perfect for solo leveling up. He has CC, can deal burst damage and even sustain damage up to a certain point. He is very versatile in all departments, giving him an edge over other fighters for solo ranking up. His skill 2 and ultimate can help him chase down enemies while his skill 1 boosts his sustain. He can be a great asset in team fights, but when playing him, I would recommend you to flank the enemies. Do not join the fight head on, but approach from sidelines, messing up the enemy formation and dealing massive damage. Lancelot is a very good option for solo ranking up. Not only he has damage, but also he rewards a player the more skill they have. If you are someone who is well versed with aiming skills properly, you will have a great time playing Lancelot. He can deal massive damage and come back unscattered from a fight. He can split push efficiently and during team fights can always dive into enemy's backline. Clearing their squishy carries before the fight event starts, giving you and your team a big advantage. Benedetta is another great hero that rewards the skilled player. The more the player is skilled, the more efficient she is. She can dive in, deal damage and go out like nothing ever happened and the enemy still gets wiped out. Her dashes and immune are very annoying to keep up unless the enemy gangs up on you. You always have an advantage. Remember, if you are solo, the enemy could be too. So you need to abuse this advantage and maze their formation. But at the same time, do not tether into the deep and lose all your advantage. While I strongly recommend not to use marksman, when solo pushing, Nathan is an exception. The reason being, 
he gets his power spike a lot earlier than other marksmen. For other marksmen, you need to farm and farm and farm until you can start dealing damage. By that time, in most cases, the matches is already settled. But Nathan, with his CC and burst damage, can actually start being a threat, even early on making him a viable hero for solo ranking. If you know how to play this hero, you can always exert dominance on your opponent. Hayabusa is a very versatile hero, which especially excels at solo targets eliminations, split pushing and exerting pressure on enemies via securing objectives. A good Hayabusa player never run into team fights, but when he sees one happening, he either flanks the enemy backline or start pushing a tower which forces enemies to fall back and defend their carry or the tower. With this one move, you ensured your teammates didn't unnecessarily die from bad fights. Not many people like him, but this beast boy is a very strong pick. Especially when you have nothing else in mind to pick. He can go gold or experience land and even jungle. He has the skills to harass enemies from afar and close gaps and burst them down when needed. When things go messy, he even has a skill to escape out. He is a very all-round hero with lots of benefits and can greatly help you excel in a lots of fields. You can deal range damage and be an imitator of fights, chase down enemy squishies or just split push the towers down. He got all bases covered. Another versatile hero in this list is Sun. The thing that makes him strong is that he is never alone. Even if you are solo pushing rank, with Sun you always have a hero that can help you in fights as known as your doppelganger. He has the skills to close gaps, immune himself and run away if the things go bad. He can harass from afar and mail down turrets a little too easily. He is versatile in terms of both solo fights and team fights. Enemies often target his clones and use their ultimate on them while the main body has a walk in the park. He is very annoying on both team fights and when split pushing which makes him a very good option if you are solo pushing ranks. Last in our list is Alice. Maybe not the hero you expected in this list. But she is versatile. She is a tank mage hybrid capable of doing both, taking up damage and dealing it back. Her lifesteal is her essence of sustain. She can heal back a lot more than what enemy can deal on her, which makes her a threat. Not just that, she with her skill 1 is an excellent initiator. She can dive into enemies, root them all with a skill 2 and start her ult to damage and slow enemies down while her team follows. At cases, even if the team does not follow up Alice, Alice can finish her targets off even while being in between multiple enemies and even get out of it. So folks, that was all from this video. I know that you can push with any hero you are good at, but in general, you want a hero capable of doing a lot of things without relying too much on team supports. These were my candidates for that requirement. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you want more topics on solo ranking to be covered by us. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.